So hello there guys, today's video is going to be about uh, Gallic Acid and I'm going to make a like free episode series about uh, Gallic Acid and dyes from Gallic Acid. Today's the first episode, so as you can see I got some 80% Oak Gall Extract. So as you might know, there's a certain bug, it's called a Gall Wasp, which uh, lays larva on the uh, oak's leaves and the larva uh, introduce some kind of chemicals to the leaf and they uh, force the tree to create this kind of tumor. This ball is uh, mostly composed of tannic acid which is basically a glucose with uh, many with many gallic acids attached to it. Well it depends there are diff different kinds of tannins but that's the main one in the in the oak gals and they were historically used to make ink which I got here the tannic acid or gallic acid was complex with iron 3 plus and uh, yeah it was commonly used as black ink so in today's episode I'm going to show you how to make this black ink so uh, I actually bought this extract and you might ask why did I buy it when I can just uh, go into the wild and collect some gals. So uh, the, the reason is because it's winter and it's pretty hard to find these uh, gal apples in the winter. So I just opted to buy some although I have found some actual oak gals which I'm going to show you right now. Let's see, they're kind of these balls. And also, if you're grossed out by uh, bugs that can, that sometimes are still inside when you collect the mm, gal apples, well, you can just buy it. But uh, I think it's pretty fun extracting uh, gallic acid from gal apples. And there are two main routes which you can extract the uh, gallic acid. You can, uh, you know, grind it up into a powder, dry it, and then. Uh, hydrolyze it for like two hours in a boiling setup and what, boiling it with 20% sulfuric acid and that should yield some nice crystals of uh, gallic acid or you can ferment it for like a month or even more in a slurry uh, which should also you know uh, hydrolyze it into the gallic acid and glucose and then the gallic acid crystallizes out. So yeah, uh, maybe I will make a separate video about actually the process, but I think it's pretty simple, so you can probably figure it out on your own. And today I'm just going to purify this and make some ink. So yeah, let's get into the video. So I got some water here. I didn't find any uh, solubility table of gallic acid uh, on the internet. So I will have to, you know, just maybe see how actually acidic the solution is, so I will... So I'm actually quite surprised because it turned out it dissolved in 100 milliliters, all of it. Which is a little bit surprising because it was like... 50 grams and uh, at room temperature in gallic acid monohydrate uh, has a solubility of 1 gram per 100 milliliters so it's you know uh, quite surprising actually and it's actually really good for recrystallization So I will probably set it outside to, you know, cool down, it's like 4 degrees outside, so uh, yeah, it will participate out more crystals. And then we're going to filter it and dry it and maybe recrystallize second time, 
we'll see. I think it's going to be pure enough. I actually wonder what were the 20% of impurities in this product. Yeah, that's uh, quite interesting. So yeah, that's how our product looks after washing with cold water. Uh, so I'm going to dry it and wait and to see how much we lost in the recrystallization. So I'm going to show you a pretty cool trick with gallic acid that you can do. So I have some you know, crude gallic acid solution here and I drew some stuff on the paper. You could probably see it because I didn't do it very well, but uh, you could probably inject it into some, uh, you know, uh, washed uh, marker casing and, you know, draw something nicer because I just drew it with uh, my string rod. And now we can uh, make the ink in the paper by using some ferric chloride solution and I got a, a brush here and I will just lightly see I think that's pretty cool yeah that 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 looks really neat in my opinion so what happens here the ferric chloride uh, complexes with the gallic acid and I've already talked about this complex and uh, this uh, this reaction is actually characteristic for phenols and gallic acid is a phenol uh, indeed so yeah let's see it can just can do something like that so it can be used as an invisible ink but you can use it as a normal ink just as well because it performs very well in my opinion and creates this nice dark color so yeah not not too much So yeah, that's how you can make invisible ink from gallic acid. Well, you don't really have to make anything, you just have to dissolve some gallic acid and ferric chloride in water. Uh, instead of ferric chloride, you can use uh, ferric acetate, any any um, iron-free plus salt, really. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.